and welcome back to the Breath of the Wild. So this is my second attempt at this Linnell. Um, I seem to be having a problem where when he backs off to make a charge, I try and shoot an arrow at him. And then when I try and um, uh, like dodge while I've still got my bow and arrow out, Link doesn't really backflip. He just kind of does a little jump in the air and I keep getting whacked. So I've just got to remember to get my weapon back out um, before he makes a charge. Or get a critical, you know. Either would be fine. Let's just get in close enough so we don't have to deal with this. Great start. Actually, I did do a bit of damage to him. Zoom out a bit, camera, that'd be great. Well, this is a pretty good start, okay. Apart from that beginning bit, which I suppose would be the start. Alright, let's just leave the weapon out and we'll try and dodge it. Okay, getting those down. It also seems to have a much faster charge that I haven't quite figured out yet, but uh, let's see. That's this one. That's oof, a little close. Right up his ass. Just get rid of that. I always miss that one too. The two handed one he does. I think I'm going a little too early. That one, yeah. Nuts. Come on, get in here. Approaching halfway. We can do this all day, pal. Get out of it. All right. Um, just want to stop the um, the regen, really. Let's go big. days I'll get that one. Oof, nuts. Okay, I only got one more uh, from Daruk. We're nearly there. Let's keep this up. 
Maybe one or two more flurry rushes. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? That is a super quick one. Yes! Alrighty. Okay, second try, not too bad. And all this good stuff. Okay, feels good. Don't think it's going to be enough for us to uh, to upgrade anything. Oh, this might have been a bit higher than I thought. Right, so we think of somewhere to go, don't we? Going from over there. We don't really know. We haven't got the map for this part yet, so we might go do that because that's kind of over here. Yeah, I think we might do that. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. We may well come back around here and uh, and continue search around this side. But otherwise, if we continue around here, we'll kind of come in the back way of the Lost Woods, and that's not really the way I want to go in. But I would like to find one more shrine before we go in there, actually. Because there are four in the Lost Woods, so. Let's so get changed into something a little more us. Actually, you know what? I am going to quickly. I'm going to pop over to the um, Great Fairy, see if there's anything we can upgrade, then I'll meet you back over at this stable. Okay, so we made it back. So, um, yeah, we could have upgraded our fire gear, but um, well, I don't think we're going to use it that often, so I didn't bother for now. We could have only upgraded one piece anyway, so there we go. Ah, uh, oh, but Beetle's here too, that's good. Let's sell some stuff. We should have a fair bit. Uh, here we go. Oh, yes, we do. Let's make some money. Yeah, this game is crying out to be able to do a load of transactions at once. That would really streamline this game. Like I've said before, when we're doing the inventory upgrades and stuff like that, oh man, I wish you could just do all of them in one go. Just say, this is how many i got, this is how many I want to do. Bosh, do it. Then I'd watch Hestu's little dance and everything, but I don't do it every single time. Goodness me. We are doing pretty good for cash right now. Wow. Yeah. Like I say, Beetle, richest man high rule by far and away. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm going to buy all those. We can use that to upgrade our stealth gear as well. Um, so, wait a second, where's my pen? Just upgraded my, uh, updated my shopping list. Uh, we now only need nine of those. And then we'll buy all the arrows. Wow. Okay, cool. No, no, that's it. I think we had a look around here before, didn't we? Yeah, alright, let's go. Ideally we'll find a shrine on the way, but I don't think we will. I think we're just heading up to that tower, actually. That's the one we need for this region, so I'll probably go do that. Ooh, there's some more um, fireflies. Hey, gotcha. Another couple. That'll help. Okay, so. Oh, 
just this one, then I'm done with the fireflies for now. Good. So if we get one more, we can upgrade two pieces of our stealth gear. Now this is actually a tricky um, tower to storm if you go at it from the bottom. Which is the exact reason why we are not going to do that. Because it's it's hard enough on, on normal mode. But uh, on master mode, no thanks. But if we come up into these hills, we should be able to uh, circumvent quite a lot of that. Ah, I missed it. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's where I want to be. Yeah, there's a big old camp around there. Climbing shouldn't be an issue, I think. to get to. Gets a little bit further round. Hmm. Okay, let's head to the hill. Yeah, here we go. This is where I want to be. Settle down. But if we get up here, I think we should be able to make the glide. This knot. We need to be higher than this, I think. Up there should just about do it. over there be better. Did I overcook it? I might have done. Oh yeah, there's the Lost Woods there. Pretty cool, huh? Another Divine Beast over there. Yeah, okay. Let's get up here. think but let's not risk it so I don't have to come back all the way up here again this will for sure do it then we get a lovely view as well Well, there's a shrine over there then. Okay, so Geronimo. Do you know what I mean? Look at all this stuff. Things swimming around in the water there as well. You know, we don't want to be involved in that. Why's it got cold all of a sudden? Are we that high up? There's like half a skull on this one as well, which is pretty cool. You can see down there, and it's up here. Where are we 
go. We made it. sure we're going to find a shrine before we get there, but that's okay. We'll have one as soon as we arrive, in, arrive into the main bit. Kind of see where we were. So we're up. That's where we fought the Linnell. I suppose there's probably a good. Well, there's got to be a chance there. There's a shrine or two out here. That looks pretty cool as well. But this is where we're headed. Um, so we're here. So we go in this way. And then, well, it's a lost woods. So you know, what do you think is going to happen? There's a few chests down here, but they're not the floating platforms. So I assume they contain just the same as normal mode nice Starting to look a bit spooky already, isn't it? Alrighty, so we are going to need our trusty torch here. And the kind of deal here is, um, let's just light this one just in case. Um, you can't go out of bounds, basically, there's a set path you have to follow. Uh, and if you stray from it, you uh, you void out and go back to where you started. But uh, the trick is you've got to follow the the embers coming off the the flames here. But there is also a piece of DLC armor we can find in here. Yeah, see, went the wrong way. Even though there's a flame over there, I'm just trying to. I did get it before, and it's fairly near here. It's kind of, um, I'll show you on the map actually. So it's kind of like uh, over here, I think, actually. Hmm, actually that might not be true. No, I think it's actually down here. Okay, let's keep an eye on the map, see where we go over there. Well, we don't need the torch quite yet. Still going that way. And then when it starts getting a bit thick, I think, oh, I've gone the wrong way. It's going this way. And I think it's down here. It's in the mouth of one of these trees. Ooh, no. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm in the path. Where are we? Okay, let's keep following the path. Not quite there yet. Okay, now where are we going? That way. Okay, that's good. Now we want our torch, I think. I think actually if we keep going this way, we might find it. Is it in this one? No. I 
I don't have to like start the there we go. So you're here on the map, just under the S and the T. And here we get the Korok mask. And if you wear it, you can um uh, it'll let you know when you find a Korok. It'll like make a sound and let you know there's one nearby. Follow the one off our torch here. in the home of the Koroks and also Lagtown. Hello, hello. Ah. Link. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. <sighs> Who is that? Did I doze off again? decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the chosen knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword. 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Best of luck, young one.
Oh, pretty awesome, man. Eh? Mm. We're uh, we're not strong enough yet, though. Close, close. Yeah, you need thirteen red hearts to be able to do it. We got ten so far. Soon to be eleven. So why don't we? Well, first off, there's Hestu. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna do a load of the upgrading. I'll just do mostly. It'll be melee. And well, I'll do melee as as far as I can, because the the amount you need goes up uh, each time. So I'll do as many as I can for melee. Then I'll distribute the others into bow and shield. Um, but I'll I'll do that off screen. So yeah, because it's just gonna be a load of this over and over again. So I'll be right back. Alrighty. So we've got a couple more for um, our weapons. Looking pretty good there. Got three more for bows and arrows and two more for shields. Yeah, we need some more shields, actually. But first things first, let's stop that bleeping. Kyo Rug. I don't want that. So Kyo Rug was actually the biographer of the Deku Tree and tried very valiantly to, to you know, record the, the life of the Deku tree and everything like that. But of course, the Deku tree is very, very old, sleeps a lot, and um, that's very slowly. So he didn't even finish the foreword, and the foreword was, you know, a thousand pages long. And, uh, and eventually he died. And they just made a shrine for him just because he, just because he tried, really. It's a great read. Not not a lot happens. It's kind of stationary, but, but there you go. Ah, yes, this one. So, well, let's read what it says. Look to the stars for guidance. The constellations are key. Now, when I first did this, I didn't notice that back wall up there. I just looked at these. So, so the trick is we got this one over here, just the three, and we got to count how many we got up there, which is uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and we've got. One, two, three, four, five lights. And that one is the two lines. And that's um, one, two, three. Okay, so five and three. Go in there. And go in here. And then what do we got? That one. I count. One, right? Yeah, and that one I count two. And that should open us up. Cool, so. That's how you do the shrine, but of course we need a chest. So you need to look over here. So first of all, it was the little one, wasn't it? So that's what, th four? Then it was the two lines, uh, which is two. So four, two, um, two, one. Yeah. Okay. Four. Two. Well, one there. And then two here. And there we go. Yeah, that's a cool little puzzle, that one. Oh, almost flipped out there. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'm not going to use it quite yet, though. This Guardian Spear is lasting quite a while.
And there's the four. That's too early. So there is a, a statue here, so we'll go grab another heart. And then there's also three trials. It's like a well, quest of the Lost Woods, and we get another th uh, three shrines. So we'll do that, I think. So it might be a bit of a shorter one this time, but next time we'll do those three um, three shrines. Um, for now, why don't we... Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll... We'll end it here, and next time we'll speak to these people and pick up these side quests, because there's not stuff we can really do here. The Rook's protection is now ready to roll. Thanks, Rook. And, uh, and next time we'll explore the Lost Woods. So until then, take it easy.